So good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's session. Um, being a Sunday, we always meet and discuss about health. And today we have a very, very um, exciting session that is being conducted by one of our leaders. And it's a session that um, involves almost everybody because as we age, as we grow older, several people are affected by this uh, particular disease or condition. And that is bone and joint health. Things to do with arthritis, backache, all kinds of aches, aches that, con uh, that are concerned with the bones or the skeletal structure. And uh, today, like I said, we have a very exciting speaker who is going to talk to us. And uh, this is a lady who is going to share and uh, her husband will actually give the testimony about what she's going to talk about. So today we have a, a, a couple uh, coming and giving us a session. So without further ado, I want to invite Catherine Masharia. Uh, she will share her part and then she will invite her better half to give the testimony. So Catherine, are you there? Yes, Fred, I'm here. Hi. Hello. So good evening, everyone, or is it good afternoon? An absolute pleasure to be here. My name is Catherine Masharia. And I apologize that you're not able to see me. I have a laptop that refuses to show the camera. But it's a pleasure to be here and um, to present to you this um, afternoon. I live and work in Kilifi, uh, married to a handsome gentleman called uh, Salim Bayamarema. And we are blessed with two children, um, both boys. One is 29 years old and the other one is 19. And um, we got into this business by accident. And when I say by accident is because we didn't mean to do this as a business. We just joined so that we could get products for our son. And the reason we joined is because of the 19 year old son. When he was very young, about a year and 10 months old, he had a um, head injury while at home. He fell and had a head injury. And so has uh, right hand limbs that are weak on the right side. But uh, last year in October, he developed um, challenges in regards to his bones. And um, he was in boarding school and we were called by the teachers and we were asked to take him home and manage him. And uh, he was found to have um, onset of um, arthritis. And so a couple of things were suggested for him to be done. And I apologize that I'm the one sharing this, but uh, my husband is somewhere on the road trying to get back uh, from Mombasa and so I'd not be able to make it on time to share. So I'll share this and then um, get on into the, into the health um, presentation. So we had to get him home and uh, move him schools and then get him to have the various things done. So he had two operations that needed to be done. One was a minor operation where they needed to infuse some bone marrow into his hip joint so that then they could um, restart, jumpstart. I call it jumpstarting the flow of um, blood into that section. And then they had a major, a major um, operation surgery that needed to be done uh, much of this year. So both have been done. And uh, out of those surgeries, the young man has been recovering very well. Within four days of his um, surgeries, he was actually um, saying that he doesn't have any pains. For the major surgery, we had even been told to get a wheelchair because he might have difficulties moving around. He never got to use that wheelchair. And he, I have placed him on um, products that are um, the um, New Life products that he's been using since October. And October is a friend of mine who reminded me about these products, a friend of mine who's not even in New Life. And immediately I didn't hesitate. I, I started him up on that. And uh, he's been using the products religiously. We get him um, CalMag, Full Motion, 3NN, and Omega-3. And now is when we are changing and using other things also for vitality. But in, um, we, are really do, we really are enjoying this journey because it has been a beautiful journey. And you will see why. Because we are learning a lot of things. And um, so bone and joint health is a passion for me, being that it has something um, that touches on our family. It touches on our son and also touches on me. So at the end of this all, I'll just share slightly in regards to myself. So without further ado, your good health is your greatest wealth. 
And we all know that doesn't matter how much money you have, if you're not healthy, that wealth does not even help you one bit. And you'll find yourself just using all the money you have just to try and get good health back. In new life, we have said it's time we reverse the trends. And WHO even predicted that by 2020, the chronic diseases that would account for almost three out of every four deaths worldwide would be chronic diseases. And which ones are this? Heart disease, cancer, diabetes, stroke, chronic respiratory diseases, and others. And um, they are just raising higher and higher every day. So what the, do the medical profession say? They say that we need to lead a healthy life, a healthy life that consists of four aspects of it. We are to drink more water. On average, we are supposed to take two liters of water every day. Men is even recommended they do three liters. We are to reduce the stress in our lives. We are all going through dire um, um, straits. Life has become hard. Financial um, situation is harder. And we need to reduce the stress that we have in our lives. And we need to take control of that bit. We are to eat healthy too and exercise regularly. It's recommended that we exercise three times, at least three times a week, 15 to half an hour, and brisk, um, if it, even if it's brisk walking, such that your heart uh, levels your, uh, go up, so that then you are able to live a healthy lifestyle. You're also supposed to watch out on your weight. And it's very important that each one of us knows what our BMI is, which is the body mass index. And how do you know that? How do you calculate that? That is um, your weight in kilograms divided over your height in meters squared. Now, if you're 18.5, you are underweight and you are just in danger of being sick or losing your life, just like somebody who's in the range of 30 and all the way up to 40. The ideal normal weight we need to be on is between 18.5 to 24.9. How should our health status be? From the age of zero, from the age we are born, all the way to the time we are 80 plus, we need to be leading a vibrant life. But because of the way our health is right now, we are not able to do that. And this is how we need to do that. But because the normal health curve right now, because of the stress levels that have gone up, we hardly sleep, we exercise even less. So our weight has ballooned. We are ending up in the sick zone where we have high blood pressure, cholesterol, strokes, heart attacks, and our sugar levels just going up and up and up. So this is how our typical health status looks like. So when we are born, we are on the vibrant stage. Then somewhere along the line, at about 30 to 40, we, moved in, we move into our tired zone. And by the time we are retiring, 60s, to the time we go to be with the Lord, we are already in the sick zone. What can we do about this? The dietary facts say that 95% of people take foods that lack nutrients. 75% deliberately consume incorrect foods. So what is the basis of a good nutrition? We need to base our good nutrition on whole grains. Whole grains, these are soya, brown rice, uh, uh, wheat, um, eating uh, uh, bread that is wholemeal bread. Then uh, following up on fruits and vegetables, it's recommended that we do six different types of fruits every day and at least 13 helpings of vegetables. Proteins should be less and less. If anything, we should be doing more of plant proteins than animal proteins. So we need to be, to be ensuring that the meats we take is lean meats and in very little quantities. Chicken, the road runners, not the broiler chickens, which have hormones injected into them. Very little milk and uh, dairy products and absolutely very little fats and sugars. Actually, the recommendation is that we are supposed to do one teaspoon of sugar every day. But what's our typical lifestyle? This is how our typical lifestyle looks like. We eat a lot of cereals and starch, a lot of that. 
We eat potatoes, we eat sima, we eat brown bread, white bread, pasta. That is where our food mainly is based on. Then we only do very little of fruit and vegetables. Fruits are mainly left for children and people who are sick. Vegetables, most of us complain how they don't like vegetables, so we end up not eating them. Then we eat a lot of milk and dairy products, meats, and uh, we know how um, our men love nyamachoma. And all this put a strain on our bodies and, we are not, and our bodies are not able to properly function. And that's why a lot of us these days have diseases. And that's why they are called lifestyle diseases. Then a lot of fats and oils. Our lives consist of eating fast food, pizza, uh, sodas, sweets, um, pies, everything that is sweet. And you can see the gentleman seated here with his whole price of food that is laid out before him, chips, um, pork, all that. So what can we do? So now we go to bone and joint health. We know that bone is a living tissue and plays a stru structural role in the body. It's a living tissue that continues to be renewed throughout our lives with older cells being replaced by new ones. It is made up of a protein matri matrix strengthened with minerals, particularly calcium and phosphorus. Bone mass increases throughout growth until our early 20s when the peak bone mass is achieved. Then there's a period of consolidation, but from the age of 40 years going on, bone loss exceeds bone formation and bone mass gradually decreases. So a number of nutrients that play a role in establishing and maintaining healthy bones is calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin K. And an active lifestyle is also very important. So what are the common bone disorders? Osteoporos osteoporosis. This is a common disease that occurs when bones become weak due to changes in bone material, mineral density and, and uh, mass. And the unfortunate thing that this is a silent disease because there are no obvious symptoms until a bone actually breaks. The second is fractures. And a fracture is a break in a bone which occurs when it has been put under sudden or very strong pressure or force. The third is scoliosis. Scoliosis is an abnormal curvature of the spine resulting in an S or C shape. And the disorder can occur in a child's growth spurt before puberty and is usually diagnosed in the first seven years. The fourth is a Paget's disease. And this is a chronic dis disorder that affects the way the bones break down and regrow. This results in excessive breakdown and regrowth, leading to bones that are bigger and softer than usual. And this may cause bones to grow misshapen and more prone to fracturing. And you can see here the picture of the normal uh, bones, the way they have grown, and somebody who has Paget's disease. So which are then the common joint disorders? Osteoarthritis is one of them. And this arises when the cartilage between the two joints is worn out, worn down. And this causes the bones in the joint to rub together, causing swelling and stif stiffness in the area. Then we, the second one is the rheumatoid arthritis. This is an autoimmune and inflammatory disease that causes the body's immune system to attack healthy cells, cells mistakenly leading to inflammation or powerful or painful swelling in the affected area. Unfortunately, it can attack multiple joints at once, which are usually the hands, the wrists, and the knees, and can lead to damage of the joint tissue, leading to chronic pain, loss, lack of balance or instability, and deformities. So what are these causes of joint and uh, bone diseases? injury, diet that lacks needed nutrition, nutrients. And as I've said, we are not able to get complete nutrients from the foods we eat today. Over-exercising, diseases, this could be lupus or leukemia or bone cancer, mineral deficiency in our bodies, infections, osteoporosis, being overweight, 
underactive thyroid, also family history, hormonal changes in our bodies. Smoking is also one of the factors that can lead to that. And certain medications and medical conditions that we take and drinking large amounts of alcohol. So how then can we prevent bone and joint issues? We need to maintain healthy weight and physical activity. This is a must. We've become a sedentary nation. We want to drive to everywhere we, well, we want to go. Very few of us want to actually do any exercise, but it is important that we need to do physical exercise and maintain a healthy weight. We need to get enough calcium and vitamin D in our bodies. We need to take a healthy diet to avoid smoking and alcohol in excess and to take nutritional supplements. The fact is that 90% of people don't get the recommended amount of important nutrients from food alone. And as you age, the malabsorption becomes a problem because your body doesn't have the same capacity to break down and absorb nutrients as it used to. So what is the solution? What can we do to turn our pyramid the right side up from the way our typical pyramid is to the correct way? Now we have a scientific advisory board whose work to prepare and manufacture products that assist us in taking care of our bodies. They identified a problem that it's impossible to get all the nutrition critical for this disease prevention from our diets. And it was founded by Dr. Adza Fast, who's the pioneer in cancer and research and toxicology. He's the one who um, pioneered uh, chemotherapy. And from that, he's also pioneered a product that we recommend for a cancer patient six months after their uh, treatment of um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy that's called BetaGuard. And the scientists who are on the board are world-renowned scientists and nutrition experts, people who are actively um, publishing and are respected in their fields of operation. So the solution we are talking about is Provitality. Provitality will help you to set your pyramid the right side up. What consists of the, what is consisted in the Provitality? We know that good nutrition begins at the cellular level. Our cells are unhealthy. That's why we are so prone to disease these days. And it's unhealthy because nutrients are not able to get into our cells anymore. Very little nutrients go in. And then the waste that is inside is unable to come up. And this is all because of our typical lifestyle pyramid. So the provitality, once you start taking it, it starts working on our cells, the trillions and trillions of cells we have in our bodies, and the cell starts becoming healthy. And it's able now to allow nutrients to get in and waste to get out. So it consists of uh, four products. We have the tree and then, which feeds your cells. Then we have the carotenoid complex, which protects your cells. The omega-3, which balances and regulates your cells and the essential vitamins and minerals that we need on a daily basis. So these are the products that we recommend for bone, uh, for, for strong bones and healthy joints. We have Calmag, we have salmon oil, we have full motion. And I'll break it down now in regards to all this. So for calcium, um, this is chelated Calmag and it's calcium and magnesium Together with vitamin D, it provides the essential vitamin D3, the form that is readily absorbable and highly bioavailable. It's pure and seashell derived calcium. It has a chelation, double amino chelation to promote higher calcium and magnesium absorption. And is formulated with the preferred two to one ratio of calcium to magnesium to best meet our body's needs. So what are the benefits of using Calmag? It's shown to postpone or prevent the onset of osteoporosis. It supports normal blood pressure, optimal nerve and muscle function, and PMS. 
It promotes strong bones and teeth and is critical for the cardiovascular health, normal blood pressure, and many enzyme reactions in the body. The next one is the salmon oil. It's the first supplement of its kind to have all the eight members of the omega-3 in it. It's readily absorbed from the intestines, utilized by the body, and it's been proven to reduce, to significantly reduce the risk factors of heart and cardiovascular disease. It lowers the amount of inflammation in the body by restoring the fatty acid balance in the cells. It also reduces the risk of developing inflammatory conditions like heart disease and joint degeneration by 68%. Then we have the full motion. Full motion helps in the joint repair, regeneration and maintenance, and thus reclaim lost comfort, flexibility and mobility that is lost when we don't have healthy cartilage. So to maintain the healthy cartilage levels in the face of repeated strenuous exercise or to repair and regenerate damaged cartilage associated with aging. It makes new cartilage, stops or even reverses degenerative cartilage loss, replaces lost or damaged cartilage, and supports in the healthy joint fracture. It is easy to digest, digest sulfite-free, and minimizes risk of digestive discomfort and allergic reactions in the body. In regards to weight management, we also have products to assist in weight management because as you have seen, one of the issues with regards to bone and joint health is weight. And we have Neolife Tea, Neolife Shake, and Provitality used together and is able to help someone uh, uh, bring down their weight. So what are the benefits of Neolife? you're able to attain health and wellness, both physically and financially. You're able to achieve and maintain your, your ideal weight. You have the opportunity of earning extra income each month, spending more quality time with your family and friends, finally being your own boss. And you can work either part-time or full-time, the choice is yours. And you are able to, and you receive recognition for year achievement, even, even monthly achievements, you receive recognition. You also experience personal growth by attending the trainings, by uh, making presentations, you're able to do that and experience being part of the new life family. And finally, enjoy an overall better health. So I had said I was going to share slightly in regards to myself and my journey uh, with bone and joint health. During COVID and the period of COVID, um, we've had to work from home. And the seats at home are not the same as the ones from the office. So over time, I've, uh, I had developed a severe back pains where I wasn't even able to sit comfortably on a chair for 15 minutes. I would have to stand, stretch, walk about, I had uh, resorted to using pillows, uh, even on the sofas, I wasn't comfortable, and I alternated from sitting, standing, and uh, sleeping on the floor. So when I started uh, my son off on the products, I also coincidentally decided to, to begin using them. And I can assure you in the months that I have been using this, and that is beginning January of this month, my problem of the back has really reduced. I had reached a point where I had even asked the doctor what could I do about my back and had been recommended to use the lumbar, um, the lumbar sponge, which wasn't helping me one bit. But with these products, I can assure you I'm having a, a, a fantastic time now. I'm able to sit for long periods of time, although I know I need to every half an hour stand up and walk around and then sit down again. But it's such a relief from how I was feeling last year to how I'm feeling right now. So these products, I can testify that they truly do work. So thank you very much for indulging me this afternoon. And uh, back to you, Fred.
Thank you so much, uh, Catherine. That was very, very powerful, very short, sweet, and to the point. And um, I, uh, you have actually brought the message home very, very well as far as uh, bone and joint health is concerned. And uh, we are truly, truly grateful uh, for that particular session that you have covered for us. Uh, for the guests on the call, I just want to emphasize that uh, Neo Life is there to help you. Uh, Neo Life gives you an all round opportunity that can actually help you to be healthier and to be wealthier. Just like Catherine has put it, she has given the benefits of Neo Life, so I won't get into that. But I must say that uh, personally, I have been able to assist so many people who've had challenges as far as bone health is concerned. I remember one time my auntie was having a challenge. She could not walk. She could not even climb a pavement. Uh, she would sit for like a few minutes, stand up, massage her pelvis area, then sit down again. And uh, it was a big problem for her. She's a mother of seven children. So you can see where the, the bones went. They went with the children. And uh, I remember when I met her, I just told her, go to my, go to, at that time I was still staying with my parents. I told her, go and talk to my mom. She has some supplements there she can give you. My mom was using uh, omega-3 and calcium and several other products because of uh, high blood pressure. So I told her, go tell mom to give you this. Now she came home and my mom gave her the products. And uh, in a matter of days, I think it was less than three days, she was called and she was so excited. She was feeling so good. She was no longer having to stand up and massage her pelvis region. She could walk around, she could go to the shamba. She, I mean, it's amazing what these products can do. One thing I always advise uh, uh, my clients is that when the pain seeds, when the pain stops, you shouldn't stop taking the supplements because you are building back the bone density to what it was. And that is a process. That is not something that will happen because the pain has stopped. Now the joint is regenerated. No, you have to continue. Dr. Fatma says that for you to get long-term benefit as far as our products are concerned, given that these are supplements, they are not medicine, then you need to take, it, take them consistently for between four to six months. Then you can actually regenerate and build back um, that joint that is worn out and that kind of thing. Another incident that um, I dealt with was a gentleman who had um, fallen down. He had been thrown when Tikarod was being made. He was thrown down and uh, he broke his leg. He went in uh, for surgery and uh, they tried to bring back the joints together. But there was a big gap in his leg, in the bone structure of his leg. They left a gap and they said, this one will, will close with time. Now it did not close. And uh, he kept feeling pain. He couldn't walk, he was on crutches. So I told him, okay, fine, um, let's try our products. Let's see what the products can do because our products have the ability to help you heal. Um, on top of the, of the full motion, there's a product we call multimineral and alfalfa. Alfalfa is very good for internal healing. And it also has some zinc in it. It has some minerals. So I recommended these products to this gentleman. He started using them. The doctor advised him to go back for a second surgery to now correct the mistake, uh, to try and bring the bone together. And I advised him against it. I told him, um, what I know about bones is that if you get enough calcium, if you get full motion, you'll be able to regenerate that bone. That, that bone can close by itself. And since you're walking, the force of gravity will also work to your advantage. And uh, this gentleman trusted me. I told him, instead of giving this doctor another 300,000 shillings for a second operation, yet he made a mistake the first time. He did not do it correctly. What guarantee do you have that he's going to do it correctly the second time? And then you have to start the healing process all over again. And for those who know about bones, you take so long in healing. So he started using the products. And long short of the story is that it didn't happen the next month or the month after. It took several months and he kept, even at one point started getting discouraged. But I told him, just keep on keeping on. This is nutrition, this is not medicine. And uh, one day uh, he, st he stopped using crutches with both hands. 
uh, he stopped using one crutch. Now he started using a, a, a walking stick. One day he forgot his walking stick at his place of work. He only remembered it at home. And since then he has never used a walking stick. When he went back for an X-ray, he was told the gap that was there had actually sealed itself. So that just tells you that our products work. And uh, if you have a challenge as far as the bone structure is concerned, then you need to get onto the products. But even if you're healthy, um, it's important to supplement your diet with calcium, with vitamin D, uh, with omega-3, to lower the inflammation level in your body because you are, you are growing older. You are walking, you are running, you are, doing, you are exercising, you are, you are putting a strain on your frame. And if you don't supplement uh, with products that will help to boost um, your bone structure, then you will find that definitely as you grow older, you'll have a challenge as far as bones are concerned. Now, um, if you look at our diet, and I always like looking at this, how many uh, foods give you calcium? Uh, we are talking about milk, we are talking about omena, we are talking about uh, some vegetables which have a bit of it, but largely we don't have food that gives us calcium. And the, the food that is there, we don't eat it. Our, if you're in Nairobi, the tea you take is fake. Uh, the milk is fake. It's, it's been, I mean, it has very little in the way of calcium. Um, even if you're up country, most people up country sell the milk and they buy bread or they buy ngumu or something uh, or soda, yeah? Things that won't help them, but they have sold the milk, you know? Uh, they never bother. To, to consume the milk. I remember reading in one of the health books, um, it was saying that uh, ladies should take at least eight glasses of fresh milk on a daily basis, eight glasses. Now, if you try to do that, definitely with our cows and the, the amount of antibiotics that they are pumped in there, you might end up, because our cows are mostly GMO, um, truth be told, you might end up with a lot of cholesterol. Now. On the flip side, if you take milk from a cow that is, grow, that, that is a free range cow, like the Maasai's, then that milk is, or, or goat milk, uh, that milk is so nice, so fine. And the chances of getting cholesterol from that are minimal. I remember doing a seminar for Maasai's and I was telling them about milk and calcium and all that. And I inquired from them, you guys live with cows. Uh, how much milk do you take? And the ladies told me, the men take about, uh, they actually take more than, uh, more than three liters of milk a day um, on a daily basis. The women take about two liters of milk a day. Now you see Maasai, when they reach six feet, they die at with six feet with all their teeth. They really have problems as far as bones are concerned. Uh, but you find that most of the other tribes, you find that as one grows older, they shrink, they become smaller, they become frail, uh, they lose their height, they, some people lose their teeth. Um, and all this is because they are not getting in enough calcium. Whereas our colleagues who are at the lake, who eat a lot of omena, they tend to have very strong bones and they can live a very ripe old age without having bone challenges. So it's important to have the correct diet, but because some of us, especially where I come from, people don't like omena. So that is where supplementation comes in. We need to supplement, especially with calcium, with vitamin D, with omega-3, with full motion. Do it on a regular basis so that you ensure that your bone structure remains strong. You don't have to have bone aches and that kind of thing. These are products that are there to help you to stay healthy, even when you are healthy. So for me, that is it for today. Um, I thank you all for having come for this session, for participating in this particular session. Thank you, Catherine, for actually taking us through it. Uh, we are coming to the end of the session. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Uh, this video will be available later today so that you can be able to look at it again and share it with a friend. Um, share it widely because we want to make a positive difference in people's lives. Join us in that journey of making the world a healthier and happier place. If you are a guest, talk to the person who invited you. Uh, you can buy the products from him or better still, you can ask him, how can I join and become a distributor and also change people's lives even as I make an extra income. Otherwise, God bless you all. 
Have a restful Sunday afternoon, and we'll see you again next Sunday. For those who are interested to know more about the business, tomorrow we'll be having a business presentation at 8 o'clock with our leader from South Africa, Pascal Olo. Thank you. Good night, and God bless. Bye.